Drink it is now 631. You're going to want to leave early this morning. Give yourself extra time to get where you're going, not just due to those slick roads, but also for road closures in and out of Palm Springs. All the major wash roads are closed right now. That means uh, you can expect some traffic jams on those alternate routes. Everybody else is going to be using them too. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez is live at one of the road closures this morning with the big impacts those closures are having. Crystal. Good morning, Jeff. I'm off North Indian Canyon Drive right now. This is usually one of the first street that does close down when there is that flooding rushing waters. And let me show you a little bit more on why you can see there is flooding all the way up here from that road closure. And then there's even more into this when you go further down into that street. Now, other street closures right now do include Gina Tree Drive, also Vista Chino and Araby Drive. All of these streets are closed at the wash because of how flooded they are. Street you can take this morning in and out of Palm Springs include Date Palm, Ramon Road, and Highway 111. Those streets are going to be congested, though, so make sure you plan for that. Yesterday, News Channel 3 spoke with some businesses that were right at the entrance of the closure on Vista Chino. These businesses say every time the streets close, they really take a hit, and they're pleading for the city to fast-track plans to build bridges over the wash. It's a Good idea to close the roads to keep everybody safe, but it's affecting us so bad. So we need solution that keep everybody safe, but gives small business running. This manager of the Fiesta Market and Liquor says normally he sees about 400 customers a day, but when the weather hits and roads are closed, that number trickles down to just a little over a hundred. So that is a big hit for small businesses like this one. Last week, I did also speak with a man who walked right through the rushing waters, all because he had no other way to get to work. These road closures, they really are a pain, but regardless, you do need to make sure you keep yourself safe. Do not pass the barriers and give yourself enough time to get around town this morning. In Palm Springs, Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. Quick question for you, uh, Crystal. It looks like behind the barricades, have they piled up some type of uh, sand or dirt back there? It looks like uh, there's some mounds of, of soil. Yeah, it looks like they did pack it in, and that, that looks like to be the reason why there's this pond right here. But right after this, it is dry. But then again, once you get to the middle of where that wa actual wash is, we can actually hear some of the water just flowing through as you normally see. So I did mention last time, this is the first time that I have seen this actually happen, but it appears that this is probably just from the overnight rain that we did get. I'm wondering, I know the mayor was uh, concerned uh, last week or so when she uh, toured, seeing all the cars that were going through there. I'm wondering if that's the city's response there, piling up soil so that nobody will get past those barricades because you're not going to get over that dirt as well. Uh, interesting uh, view there from Indian Canyon Drive this morning. 634 is the time down in the East Valley. Parents remain concerned after yet another lockdown at Coachella Valley High School, this time over a report of a student with a gun on campus.